uh, dear chairman, dear dignitaries, dear audience. First of all, I, I would like to thank uh, the Union of Arab Banks for inviting me as managing director uh, of the World Saving Retail Banking Institute at this opening session. The team of the conference, Banking Recovering Strategies Post-Crisis, Restoring uh, Sustainable Development and Debt Sustainability is indeed relevant and timely. But first of all, allow me to give you some very quick introduction about WSBI. As I already mentioned, the WSBI stands for the World Saving Retail Banking Institute, representing more than 6,000 savings and retail banks from about 80 countries. WSBI members institute, institutions take a double bottom line approach to banking, balancing the need for financial sustainability and a return to society, providing a return to society. In the presence of the representatives of the Italian governments and other regional and international policy influencers, please allow me to convey some messages, messages that may merit consideration from the perspective of savings and retail banking community. Locally rooted savings retail banks hold a crucial stabilizing function in times of crisis due to their branch, online and mobile reach, being close to customers and lending activity in both good and challenging times. They, fully committed, they are fully committed to supporting their customers as they struggle through the COVID-19 pandemic. They help people individuals, families, small and medium-sized companies, other institutions, young people, the elderly, and society in general in urban, but also in rural areas. The 6,000 banks in over 80 countries help SMEs and other companies to overcome liquidity bottlenecks and to provide stability. At the time of the COVID-19 outbreak, most governments worldwide have taken bold steps to limit the human suffering and the economic impact in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, done through a series of national, fiscal, monetary, and financial policies. Their efforts so far have helped lift strains on interdependent, interdependent global value chains and financial systems. However, countries, governments, and international bodies need to address the fallout from the COVID-19 crisis by preserving fast and effective trade uh, with pressing societal needs like growing inequality gaps between people inside countries. They must also stimulate and the starting of fully sustainable sectors of the economy and communities that can better withstand shocks like global pandemics that create profound and widespread tension among people, communities, and governments that serve them. Despite, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest challenge, financial reforms after the financial crisis have made banks safer, more stable, and more resilient in the face of shocks. The COVID-19 health crisis was not in the cards. Apparently, there is need to work together with authorities to avoid any collapse, to avoid any collapse, yes. Uh, in particular, we have reaffirmed the willingness to use all available, available policy tools for as long as required to protect people's lives, jobs, and incomes, and address the long-lasting scars of the pandemic on the most effective, affected groups of our society. 
The Saving the Retail Banking Community welcomes measures already taken by authorities and proposes ideas to give banks enough flexibility to continue supporting their customers. Some steps already taken need additional guidance and extended scope to achieve their objectives. Amongst others, temporarily relaxed the rules when it comes to capital and liquidity buffers. Increase monitoring, develop contingency plans and provide additional support for the most hard hit sectors, tourism, for example, transportation and the hospitality industry by easing the tax burden for certain much affected firms in vulnerable regions. A plan to recover economic activity and production and of goods and services and to stimulate consumption to prevent the economy from, reception, from a recession. Public authorities should also free up additional capital and provide loan guarantees. Uh, IFRS accounting standard implementation for the recognition of loan loss provisions should take into account the disruption due to the COVID-19. It is crucial that banks are granted enough management room to modify the payment schedule of the affected borrowers without affecting their accounting provisions nor their solvency. That is avoiding the, the increase in non-performing assets that would derive from the current regulations. Education also empowers people and turns them into responsible citizens. Teaching people the importance of money, financial education is necessary more than ever, particularly for the youth. To have a better chance to succeed in economic life, people must understand complex financial moments, such as ac acquiring a house, dealing with tax declarations, or understanding the intricate cases of uh, defined contribution pension schemes. With the right tools, they grasp better the problem of over indebtedness. 21st century topics related to financial innovation and digitalization especially the emergence of cryptocurrencies with growing concerns around consumer and investor protection. Last but not least, I believe that governments and business along with civil society have a unique chance to work together and move the planet to make it better. WSBI's more than 6,000 saving retail banks in the G20 countries stand ready to contribute and to help. But we can't do it alone. The G20 must prioritize three main areas as common goals. Global financial stability, sustainable and swift economic recovery, and balanced economic development. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that my view can enrich the debate. And again, thanks to the UAB for inviting me. I wish the conference a remarkable and fruitful success. Thank you for your attention.